As a star on Westworld, Evan Rachel Wood knows all about alternate realities, and in a different version of her Hollywood story, she could have been both a mean girl and a runaway. It doesn't matter. I am me as you are he as you are me, and we are all together. Wood was only five and living in Raleigh, North Carolina when she went through the long audition process for 1994's Interview with the Vampire. Wood lost the role to Kirsten Dunst, but was encouraged enough to move to Hollywood, where she worked steadily in mostly TV movies like Search for Grace and A Father for Charlie. Thank you, oh thank you. By 1999, Wood landed a role on ABC's Once and Again, which earned acclaim and ran three seasons. In 2003, Evan got her big break when Buffy the Vampire Slayer's Michelle Trachtenberg backed out of 13. Actress Nikki Reed, who co-wrote the script inspired by her young life, was considering playing Tracy herself, but Wood signed on and Reed took the other lead, Evie. This is the best day of my life. I'll kill you if you embarrass me. A year later, Wood was offered a role in Mean Girls, but turned it down because she had already committed to a similar flick called Pretty Persuasion. I know you probably have an impression of American high school girls being mean and spiteful. And it's a reputation that's largely deserved, believe me, but I'm not like that at all. Wood was also set to star in 2004's Raise Your Voice, but dropped out due to production schedule changes, and Hilary Duff came on as her replacement. The following year, Wood was considered for Cameron Crowe's Elizabethtown, but again lost out to Kirsten Dunst. You failed. You failed. Fortunately, Mandy Moore decided to focus on music and turned down a role written for her in The Upside of Anger, which opened the part for Wood to step in. I think you're lying. Wood landed one of her most successful roles in a similar situation in 2008 after Abby Cornish left The Wrestler at the last minute. What are you stalking me? A year later, Wood was considered to play Joan Jett in The Runaways, but lost out to Kristen Stewart. Meanwhile, Wood passed on Jumper, and that part went to Rachel Bilson, who met her one-time fiancé Hayden Christensen on that set. Wood also dropped out of 2011's Sucker Punch, this time due to scheduling conflicts with her star turn on True Blood, and was replaced by Jenna Malone. Mom is feeling lucky tonight. 2011 proved to be a landmark year for Wood as she went on to earn her first Emmy for Mildred Pierce. That certainly helped Wood land the coveted role of Dolores Abernathy in Westworld, which premiered in 2016 and has earned her two more Emmy noms. The series returns for its third season in 2020, but first Wood will hit theaters as a voice in Frozen 2. I know things will work out the way they're meant to.